Jesus said, many are called, few are chosen. What are many called to? A wedding feast. And who are they going to marry? Jesus Christ. How many are going to marry him? A hundred and forty-four thousand. These are the few chosen ones who came out of the world, the simulator, to marry Jesus Christ. Jesus was the first to be harvested, the first of the first fruits. And now we're counting the Pentecost because we are the first fruits, the next to be harvested. And that's going to be a small amount. Now, does it say that the whole world is called? No. The many are called. Matthew 22. This is the parable of the wedding feast. As God has called many people to come to his wedding feast. And we're going to see what they did, the many. Verse 5. But they paid no attention and went away, one to his farm and another to his business. They didn't concentrate on their new role to be a wife of Jesus Christ, a king in a kingdom, by the command of the great king. No, they went back to their daily roles in the simulator. Old man, old memories, just thinking about the past because they have no future. Their path leads to death, nothingness, the lake of fire. So what's holding you back? And the rest, after seizing his servants, insulted and killed them. Who are the servants here? That's us, each other, the brethren. We're inspiring one another, reminding each other of our true goal, that we need to go to this wedding feast, prepare ourselves to be the wife of Jesus Christ. Now, are we loving one another as we're warning each other, correcting each other, or are we hating one another, killing one another in our minds? Many are called, few are chosen. Now, let's go to John 15, verse 2. The husbandman has planted a vineyard. Our father, the husbandman, takes away every branch that does not bear fruit, the many. But he cleanses each one that bears fruit, the few chosen ones. And sometimes the pruning hurts, but you want it. That's the attitude that the few chosen ones have. I want to be changed. I want to be corrected in order that it may bear more fruit. I decrease old man sin. Jesus Christ increase, my new creation. This vineyard that God planted, it's going to succeed. 1 Thessalonians 5, 24 says, Faithful is he who calls you, who will also perform it. God will perform what he began inside of you. His vineyard is going to flourish. But do you want it? Because Cain didn't want it. Many of Jesus Christ's disciples didn't want it. John 6, 66. From that time, many of his disciples went back and walked no more with him. How about you? Are you preparing yourself right now as a bride, listening to those words? Because they're offensive and they're very hard, but they're the words of your future husband. And only a few are going to marry him. So I just shared this powerful concept with you from Jesus Christ himself. Many are called, few are chosen. So we live very dangerous lives today because the great king himself has called us out of all the peoples of the world to come to his home to celebrate a great wedding feast and marry his son, Jesus Christ. So let's seek our home daily.
simulation complete.